You seem more concerned over where state earthquake relief money will go than where it will come from in the first place. Floor votes on various legislation could come later today. The members in Sacramento are eyeing what projects to fund. Yesterday, they barely debated the proposed source of the money, a quarter cent temporary hike in the sales tax. Meanwhile, Bay Area residents are going to extreme lengths to pick up the pieces of the devastating quake. Greg Lefebvre explains. This trash holds treasure from homes leveled by last month's earthquake. We're finding lots of pictures, uh, jewelry, money, wallets, um, people's memories. A diamond ring. Some homeowners could pull belongings from their homes in the Marina District before collapse. For those whose homes were too far gone, now is the second chance. Seven days a week, workers at the Zanker Landfill pick through 40 tons of what was homes, furniture, and livelihoods. We're finding power tools, um, hand tools, jewelry, jewelry boxes, um, money. Loose cash goes into a relief fund for earthquake families. Everything else is bagged, tagged, and sorted by address. We know exactly where the loads are coming from, and we know the addresses. We're looking for people's names on the articles. Like a pair of military dog tags. And he will be getting that material back. In a few weeks, all of this will be trucked back to San Francisco. And folks can claim what's theirs. The trash hauling company is donating crews for the sorting. The busy landfill site is too dangerous for residents to sort on their own. All of the trash is examined at least twice. So far, workers have pulled apart the remains of five buildings. Just as the personal items get a new life, so will most of the rubble. 90% of the material um, being brought here from the Marina District will be recycled. Uh, the tin, the copper, the aluminum, uh, bricks, steel, concrete, dirt, and all the wood. The wood is sold as firewood and fuel for power plants. The condition of the personal items varies. The golf clubs will not need repair. The motorcycle will. The searchers acknowledge they are poking their way into a lot of private lives, but at the same time, they are rescuing some precious memories. Greg Lafave, CNN, San Jose, California. Wall Street closes up shop for the day and the week. We'll go to New York for the finishing numbers next in dollars and cents. California legislature is moving quickly to provide more money for earthquake relief. Lawmakers are working on a quarter cent increase in the state sales tax to raise $800 million. They're planning on voting tonight and hope to have it ready for the governor tomorrow. Meanwhile, Dan, Dan Blackburn is in Santa Cruz, where merchants are at work rebuilding their businesses. Okay, just okay, the just whole line rotate here. all the way through. You guys should be able to You're do with that. This marked what many here feel is the real start of rebuilding in Santa Cruz. For the first time in 17 days, merchants in the historic Pacific Garden Mall were allowed to sign releases, pick up hard hats, and return to their shops. Many thought the wait had been too long. The earthquake was a piece of cake. Yeah. The city bureaucracy is what's putting us to death. I think the city has been responsive, even though we'd like to have moved faster. They've been responsive, uh, I think, to the total situation. I know they're doing the best they can in other areas, but they've created a whole new kind of victim, I think. There's earthquake victims, and there's bureaucracy victims, and we certainly fall into that classification. City officials say the earthquake left them little choice. Unfortunately, we are still dealing with very hazardous, life-threatening kinds of situations. And until we can make sure that the street is basically safe, we just can't allow people unlimited access to it. Cleaning up quickly became the top priority for shop owners, while news racks in the mall offered silent reminders of the day the earth shook. For those people who cannot reopen at their former locations, city officials hope to rent tents to serve as temporary shops during the holiday shopping season. But the cost of those tents reportedly will be higher than the rental rates here in the mall before the earthquake. Nonetheless, getting merchants back in business is considered vital to this city. These people are going to go under if they don't have a good Christmas season. And if they go under or move their stores somewhere else, we're left with no downtown. Marilyn Quayle, wife of the vice president, showed up to offer her support to the returning merchants, while others worried about what rebuilding may bring. The question is which Santa Cruz will return. Will a contemporary, tacky, mall-type Santa Cruz return, 
or will there be effort in trying to build buildings that keep with the flavor of the old mall? I think really soon none of us will remember what was here, though I, I think the change might be good. Meanwhile, inspectors finish checking out the city's roller coaster so that it can reopen. And this beach community slowly can resume a way of life that for so long has drawn so many to its shores. Dan Blackburn, CNN, Santa Cruz, California. We're coming back with dollars and cents. How past droughts are reaping profits for the crop insurance business. First, a check of weekend weather. Tomorrow, a nice fall day is expected for much of the nation. Although.